welcome back to on the road channel and today you are with me i'm gonna be talking about my one year experience on riding a mobile bike i'm also gonna talk about my very first bike which is tiger 800 xrt that's a 2016 model so hopefully you will enjoy the episode so let's see And today I want to talk about my one year experience. So on the 23rd of June, it was a one year anniversary of me actually passing my test. So very pleased about that. I've met my boyfriend a um, year and a half ago. And I just, it, I think it took about two or three times, me being a pillion, that I've decided, you know what, I actually want to do this as well. So I put myself in, it took longer than expected because of some document issues and whatnot. But anyway, in the end, my tests were in June. I passed them all first go, not that I'm bragging, but um, I just really, really won it. And I've worked so hard for it. It just, at the time, it felt like I have to do it the first time to prove something to myself. If you are capable of passing the test on a big bike, which is a 750-800, usually in a um, test center, mine was uh, BMW GS F750. And I just thought to myself, I cannot now downgrade to a 250 bike just because everyone else says so. Yes, I understand everyone else is more experienced than me, but I just didn't feel like that was the right move for me. So I've got rid of the little V-Strom 250 that I had uh, purchased before I even did my tests and any of that. And then I found myself my Tiger. So at the time when I met my boyfriend and when I was doing my test, I, um, he was riding Tiger 900 GT Pro, which I thought is a great bike and um you know great for touring sort of adventure bike that is comfortable enough on the road so uh, that influenced my choice of bike i knew i want something that is adventure ready and easy to ride at the time of choosing the bike i knew that i don't want to be on one to five because on the day of my CBT, I felt like I've made a mistake. I cannot control the bike. This is horrible. Only the second day of my course, when they put me on a slightly bigger bike, um, I've understood that the 125 is actually not that easy to manage. I was very wobbly on it. I couldn't complete a figure of eight without putting my leg down. Where When I was on the 800 bike, it was a completely different experience. It felt like, yes, the bike is big. Yes, the bike is heavy. But I have control. I can easily do what I need doing. And at the same time, I had this reassurance that if I was to get myself in trouble or something is going on on the road that I need to get away, I've got enough power to do so. So that was one of the main reasons I thought riding a small bike it's not as safe as people think it is so I don't want to do that just not for me so my Tiger 800 XRT score the things that I really care about which is heated grips heated seat I've got all the other ABS stuff and half of it I don't understand. There is a road mode, rain mode and whatever mode which I've never even touched. I still haven't changed my clock. I don't know. I forgot how to do it. And for, frankly, I don't have the patience to fiddle with it. But it's got everything that I need. You know, I've done 15, just over 15,000 miles on this bike alone in 12 months. At the start, I had few moments of doubt, thinking, God, I've made a mistake. What am I doing? I'm not capable of riding. But at the same time, I just thought myself, 
you know, it's all down to practice how many miles you do. Um, and that the confidence and the knowledge and the skill comes with time. We had a trip planned to Alps uh, on a motorbike before I even did my test. And it was never the plan for me to ride my own bike. But I just knew that I want to do it and it's going to be my own personal achievement if I do it. Um, and the way I looked at the trip and I thought about it is you only take in one day at the time. I don't have to ride all the way to Alps today. It's You take it mile by mile as it comes. So there's no point overthinking, worrying about the mountain passes. Were they scary? Yes, they were. And they probably still will be just as scary today. But I did it. And I did it all perfectly. One of the first things we did on this bike was fit crash bars. Thank God I never actually used them, if you know what I mean, without me actually saying it. But that's those things you have to have on your bike. It gives you that little bit more confidence. You're not worried that, you know, if I did drop my bike, I'm going to damage it, break it. You know, something's going to go really wrong. So make sure your bike is protected, backbusters and the engine guards, and that's it. You're good to go. It is raining. Quite bad, actually. I knew it. Just need to hide. Uh-oh. Yeah, this happens every now and then. You're gonna store your bike. I don't know why it's stored so much. But just don't panic. One of the things that I found out about myself when I started riding is that I do not panic in stressful situations. You stored your bike, whatever. Just start it and keep going you know I've got to a point where um, I wouldn't even think about it twice or I wouldn't even take my feet off the pedals pedals of the pegs because you know it was just so quick you know you stole your bike whatever just started and keep going that's all you can do um, and it happens I think it happens less as you get to know your bike more but as just now proved, that's not a rule. It can happen. And I know my bike very well. Right, so I'm in Exmouth now. That's my go-to ride if I don't know where to ride. As I was saying, make your mistakes, learn. That's all I can say. And I don't think there is a golden recipe how to start riding a motorbike, you know, what to do, what bike to get. There is, there is no golden rule. I would definitely say what helped me is to have a really comfortable adventure bike. Um, another thing very important is my boyfriend who knows a lot about riding and he was with me. Uh, you know, I could ask him stuff. Um, and he was always giving me good advice. Also, I've got loads of friends because of him that are bikers and I like listening to their advice and some of it was very valuable. Um, so, as I said, don't panic. Think ha things happened and they will happen. It is funny how all my life now became all about motorbikes. All I wanna do is ride the bike, uh, see different places. That's my main interest at the moment. Not that I don't have anything else going on in my life, but it's just what I want to do. And it's great because my boyfriend does that, so we can do things together. We also flew once and rented bikes in Sicily. Um, that was a smaller bike. That was a Honda CB500. There was nothing really wrong with the power in that. The only thing that I found out about, about that bike that it was 
light. So when we were um, riding on toll bridges where there were gusts of winds, I didn't feel safe at all. So I definitely feel like the heavier, bigger bikes make me feel safer. I might be delusional, but I definitely feel like I might want some, a little bit more power. So I actually got that sorted today. I have a new bike coming in a few days. So I shall review that maybe. Uh, I'm very excited, but at the same time, I'm sad that my tiger is is going to be sold. It's got a sentimental value to me. So that will be a sad moment, but it has to go. Make room for something new and something bigger and better. And here we are at Exmouth Beach. One of last rides on my tiger. So I'm definitely going to be riding my tiger till the end of this week. And then Monday, I've got my new bike being delivered. Look at the weather changing. Just a few miles, it's all sunny and not even few, maybe two miles ago it was raining. So I just got myself a coffee and I'm going to chill on the beach for a little bit. The message that I want to give you today is not to be afraid and just get on your bike and ride. You can and you should make mistakes because this is what makes you a better rider. I still have a lot of things to learn and there's still a lot of courses that I want to do and I want to do many 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 more miles. Uh, my goal for this year is to double my miles but can I do 30,000 miles a year? I don't know. I don't know if I'll have enough time. I don't know if my work will be in the way but that's definitely the goal. Just ride more and have more fun, make friends, get out there. Thank you for joining me on the road and remember to subscribe so I can see you again for the next video.